Hi everyone. In this video, we will understand what is dependency injection in simple word with example. Here we will see what traditional problem dependency injection has resolved and how to create dependency injection user interface. How we can register, inject and use dependency injection in startup.cs, services and controller. Let's understand dependency injection using an example. We will create a service, Facebook and the social media. Here Facebook service will inject into the social media service and social media service will inject into the controller. Let's understand this one by example. Open Visual Studio 2019. Create a new project. Select Web API. Here I will select ASP.NET Core Web API. Click on Nest. Give the project name as a dependency injection. Save the file in some location. I am saving into my e project. Keep the target framework as a 3.1. This will open the sample web application, which let's run and test whether this is working or not. Yeah, the, this page is loading. It is all good. So we'll close. Let's go and add a class file with name social media, which is nothing but a service which we are going to inject into a controller. Right click on your project. Go and add a class. With name social media. Now let's define an interface. Always name interface with starting with I. Let's define a definition what we are expecting. Get get face book name. Find the body what we are expecting from the get Facebook. First, let's inject the i social media here, which will force you to implement this method. It's expecting a string name from Facebook. Yeah. So this this how you have created your class, which is an interface. Now you will be going and injecting into the startup.cs. Later we will use in the controller. Here you go to your configuration service and add a service. Services dot add scope. Here you will be adding your social media class. My social media comma class name. Now let's go and use this in the inject it into your controller. So open your controller, define private read only by social media underscore social media. Now inject into your controller by social media.
now assign to your social media let's create one more get method name it as a get facebook name public string get facebook name what this will return this will return I social media dot get Facebook name which we have defined in social media service which is nothing but name from the Facebook this will return let's run and see get Facebook name this is our controller so we got the result which is nothing but a, the hard-coded one name from the Facebook now let's go and modify this social media class currently we are hard coding this string now we will read this value from the another service without modifying our controller let's Add one more class name it as a Facebook define an interface inject into your class this interface your Facebook name it will return nothing but for now we are again returning the same string So now what we have done so this instead of reading this hard coded value what we have done we created a new service with name Facebook and the value which this service is returning which we will return it here so before that what we need to do as we created a new service we need to go to the startup file and register a new service we added into the startup.cs now we'll go to the social media i facebook service use this i and create a constructor of this class in 
inject the service which you have created Now go and use iFacebook service interface here. Instead of hard coding one, what we will be doing, we will return it from the service, which is nothing but a get Facebook name. So what we have done here, so earlier there was the hard coded value which was returning. Now what we have done, that one we are returning from the another service called name as a Facebook so that got injected into the I social media and from this uh, service we are returning the name now and if you have noticed like we have not done any changes here so the advantage is like if we want to change anything further in the social media we will go and add the different different services and get the result without modifying the controller let's test this one by running it so we are expecting the same output get facebook name yeah now let's debug this and see the entire flow You hit the controller this is the breakpoint which I have added press control F11 it went to the social media service F10 it went to the body of that it is calling the I Facebook service which will go to the I Facebook service and this will return to your controller from the Facebook services This got written to your Facebook services. This what we got in our UI. Now we have to create the dependency injection. If you have any question, please put in the comment box. If you have time, try to do this dependency injection exercise by yourself. Create ASP.NET Core Web API project in your Visual Studio either 2019 or 2022 using .NET 3.1. Create a new class file with the name instagram.cs then create instance in interface and the method similar to what we have done with the Facebook class and inject into your social media and use that method in the controller. If you want to use the sample code, go to this uh, GitHub This is and download the solution and have a look. Thanks for watching. If you have any question or you want to learn what next please put in the comment please like and subscribe for the next topic thanks for watching